to read the mind of anyone. You need to know five techniques. By mastering this techniques, you can read anyone's mind before they even speak. Today, I will tell you a Zen tale that will teach you how to read the minds of others. Once upon a time, there lived a wise Zen master. One morning, a restless young student, Kai, come to him, brimming with impatience. Master, Kai blurted, tell me, how can I read minds? How can I know what others think, their hidden desires and deepest fears? The Zen master smiled and said, Kai, there are five techniques to read someone's mind. First, body language. A person's body language can tell you a lot about what they are thinking. Each body part has meaning and can portray different thoughts or emotions. The mouth can be used to smile, frown, or show disbelief. The eyes can reveal if someone is interested, bored, or angry. The hands can show if someone is nervous, enthusiastic, or anxious. The feet can show if someone is tense, relaxed, or ready to leave. These cues can be read and interpreted to understand what someone is thinking or feeling without a single word being spoken. The human brain's subconscious is incredible at sending signals to each body part, whether the body knows it or not. If someone is talking but is pointing their foot towards the door, it often signals that they want to leave. If someone talks to another person they admire or find attractive, they will subconsciously angle their foot towards them. Second, the art of looking versus listening when meeting others for the first time. First impressions are made by the tone of their body, not the words that come out of it. Have you ever talked with someone and were instantly turned off by them? They probably didn't say anything wrong, but their body might have indicated otherwise. The way they make eye contact and how their body speaks all play a role in reading minds. Third, eye contact. Eye contact is one of the most critical aspects of reading mind. It conveys confidence, interest, and openness. When you meet someone for the first time, they make eye contact and hold it for a few seconds. This will show that they're interested in the conversation and confident in their self. 4. Ask questions, but be gentle. Don't pry or interrogate, but ask open-ended questions that encourage them to share. Show genuine interest and listen carefully to their answers. This way you know even a lot of information about that person and their mood. Simply listening with an open heart, allowing them to share their thoughts and feelings in their own time. A listening ear and a genuine interest are the truest keys to unlocking the hidden chambers of another's mind, the master explained. Show them you care, and they will show you themselves. 5. Body Position their body position also plays a role in reading someone's mind. If they are crossed-armed or closed off, they'll come across as unapproachable. On the other hand, if they're open and welcoming, they will invite more conversation. If you want to read another's mind and know their thoughts, you need to listen to what they are saying non-verbally. It's like learning a new language. One of the most important concepts to note when reading body language is that everything must be taken with a grain of salt. Just because someone crosses their arms doesn't mean that they are closed off. Maybe it's just cold outside. All body language cues must be observed, including the current situation and environment. Just like a word can have many definitions, the whole sentence gives the word meaning. The ability to read and understand body language is a skill anyone can learn. The more you practice, the better you will become at it. Kai thanked the Zen master. It was, without a doubt, the most valuable lesson he had ever learned. Want to know the power of silence? Don't miss the video on the left. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.